the Miracle Machine. It's powered by more than half a century of federal investment in science and technology. It's helped produce a torrent of discoveries, transforming how we live and work, strengthening our national defense, revolutionizing medicine, spawning entire industries and creating millions of jobs. It's why the United States is today the global hub for the technologies of the future. The Miracle Machine brings together the power of two interlocking engines, the public sector and the private sector, to drive progress and innovation. America already has the best private sector in the world. The entrepreneurs and investors, big companies and capital markets all eager to launch startups based on new discoveries in science and technology. But companies can rarely do the basic research. It's just too unpredictable, too far from commercialization, too early to be patented. That's where the public comes in. The U.S. government's invested about a penny on every federal dollar in basic research at universities and research centers. As a nation, we've invested in curiosity about nature, in building new tools before we fully know their uses, in collecting large data sets, and in solving big engineering challenges. The payoff has been remarkable. It turns out that basic research is not just amazingly cool, it's fuel. It powers our economy, health, and national security. The problem is America's miracle machine is falling into disrepair. It's been hurt by more than a decade-long erosion of federal support. For example, the budget for the National Institutes of Health has fallen by nearly 25% in the last 13 years. If we don't change course and invest in scientific research, we risk losing one of America's greatest assets. We may wake up to find the next generation of technologies and industries, medicines and armaments being produced elsewhere. If we want the United States to remain the most powerful nation in the world, the administration and Congress and all of us should embrace and support our miracle machine.